All right, welcome everyone. Kevin Michael Schmitz here, and I am broadcasting live about one of my favorite topics, which is photographic marketing. Now, this is something that so many of my photographers struggle with. And I know many of you guys are, you know, you love what you do, you love being a photographer, and you just want to be paid to photograph beautiful images and, um, you know, and get hired by your clients and go out there and create, right? Because that's what we do. We create. We're, we're photographers, we're image makers, we're artists. The, you know, the challenge is, though, is that um, really it's a lot more than just being creative. It's a lot more than being an artist. If you want to be successful and you want to do this as a full time career and have unbelievable success as a photographer. And it really does come down to what I say are the three fundamental uh, components to be successful as a photographer. And the first, of course, is developing that photographic brand, that portfolio, that epic content. The second is going to be marketing that content. And the third is going to be then taking those marketing leads that you've developed through your amazing marketing strategy and then basically booking them, closing that deal. So today we're going to go in depth about marketing. And this is something that every photographer that I speak to, they want more of. They want to master it. They want to become experts. They want to become, you know, the total Jedi masters of the marketing world and they want to get their work out there. They want to be seen. And that's something that's so critically important. And it's something that I um, have fortunately enough, I've been able to develop a really tried and true strategy over time of incorporating ideas from marketing masters and marketing agencies that I have relationships with, and even experts that run photographic marketing agencies where they literally, their entire agency revolves around marketing photographers specifically. So for me, um, I've incorporated a lot of these ideas and strategies, and over time I've developed a really strong marketing um, uh, components to be able to get myself out there and to get seen and be able to reach the ideal decision makers. So today I'm going to be talking about some of these strategies. I'm also going to be discussing um, kind of the new way that a lot of um, marketers, including Fortune 500 companies, are kind of taking it to the next level, incorpor uh, incorporating artificial intelligence, AI. And this is something if you guys aren't currently doing this, You've got to, you've got to get on the bandwagon and everything that I've, you know, researched on this and everything that I've, um, and even, you know, been using when I incorporate AI, I mean, it just saves so much time. It saves so much energy. And for me, of course, that's really important. I'm a busy guy. I'm, you know, not only a celebrity fashion photographer, I photograph all over the world. I shoot for Burberry and Giorgio Armani and Pepsi campaigns. I shoot major, major six figure campaigns. But I'm also a television director, an executive producer of the TV show Great Escapes. It airs on CBS um, and worldwide. In fact, I'm flying back to the Maldives next week uh, to film more of my show, which is pretty exciting. So I'm busy and I've got a lot happening. So what I can do to, you know, save time, um, not spend as much of that, like, you know, busy like busy work kind of stuff, the stuff that is just monotonous, the stuff that the writing copy, writing, you know, messages in your emails to send to people and updating those all the time. That's something that um, is uh, really, really monotonous. But you know what? AI is genius with it. Not only does it write perfect copy, including, you know, everything's spelled absolutely perfectly, everything's um, generated, uh, but it also analyzes what your target audience is, and it will create a message around what you're trying to achieve um, and come up with creative ideas and, and a multitude of ideas. And if it isn't right, you can ask it to generate more and generate more and be more and more specific. Um, and then set up a series of follow-up messages to that client using AI. And I would say with copywriting, it's probably the most useful, the easiest, and probably for you, if you're new to AI, it's something that I would incorporate first because everybody has access to chat GPT and it's something that, um, you know, has really revolutionized the entire world as far as marketing, you know, it's only really gone uh, big, you know, it kind of came out about a year and a half ago, approximately. And when it launched, believe it or not, um, chat GPT actually had more users in five days than it took literally months for Facebook to 
uh, to, to bring on when Facebook first started. And it, so that, that's pretty mind blowing. Facebook, which is, you know, a trillion dollar company to be able to achieve that kind of mass success in such a short time. Um, and a lot of the experts in the marketing world uh, are essentially believing that chat GPT in, um, is, is, in, and many of its other competitors and subsidiaries are going to become um, the largest corporations in the world because they have AI as their backbone and that's literally all they do and it's gonna be the component of everything that we do so we do need to make sure that um instead of being fearful of ai because a lot of photographers are like oh my gosh you know ai is going to put us all out of business because it's going to generate images and it's going to um you know take the place of photographers i say no like let's actually incorporate ai and use it to our advantage and use it for our marketing strategy to get us out there you know, because yes, it does create imagery and it, and it can do that. But essentially, you know, all it's doing is just it, it's it's literally creating massive amounts of copyright infringement. Um, it's it's basically plagiarizing everything and which is OK if you're writing copy and sending marketing material out. That's no big deal. But if you're trying to generate an image and create, you know, original artwork that is literally uh, your um uh, your your creative and artistic um, perspective as an artist, it's basically what AI does for photography is it takes images that have already been shot before and then readjusts them into essentially a new version of that and then spits it out. So it's just copying what's already been there. It's not generating anything new per se. It's actually just ripping off other people's work. It's plagiarizing, you know? And you're going to see a lot more of that. That's for sure. That's for sure. But I still believe, you know, that photographers are still in massively high demand. I know this because, you know, I get asked to do shoots all the time. Um, and at the highest level, you know, when you're when you have a, you know, Louis Vuitton brand, LVMH, you know, and you've got all these, you know, high end brands, they're not, you know, going to do an AI generated uh, Versace campaign. They're not going to do an AI generated Burberry campaign. They just don't trust it because it's not there yet. It's the quality isn't there. And um, it's, it's something that I think as a photographer, we shouldn't be scared of, not just yet. And if you are worried about that and you are concerned the AI might kind of eradicate us as photographers, then what I would suggest is get involved in more video because AI is not even close to taking the place of video anytime soon. And I actually don't even see that for another 10 years. Um, it's, it's very, very far behind when it comes to video generation. The quality isn't there. It's very fake and it's very hard to do. Uh, to make accurate, uh, perfect video that's natural and realistic. And that's something that AI is nowhere close to achieving anytime soon. And I really wouldn't worry about that. So if you are concerned about being taken, your, your position as a photographer being taken place of, then start doing more video because that's something that you're staying ahead of the curve. But today is going to be focused on marketing. And if you guys have questions, I definitely, definitely, definitely want to hear them um, because uh, I, you know, I love all of this. I love having you guys involved and in coming out with new ideas and, um, you know, and, and even going through a marketing strategy and marketing edit for you guys. So um, if anyone on here even wants to do this live, I would love to take somebody's um, photographic brand and, uh, and literally um, do a marketing strategy for them right now, live, why not, you know? So if any of you guys wanna do that, um, put your website in the chat and um, let me know if that's something you guys wanna do and I'll, I'll hand pick somebody uh, from, uh, from the chat and we can actually just go and right now uh, live, do a full marketing strategy for you. And I'm a huge believer of live, right? I mean, so many webinars are out there with different, uh, you know, photographic instructors and stuff and marketing strategies and everything like that. And everything is always on playback and it's rebroadcast and it's canned. Um, or even computer generated. And for me, no, like I love talking with you guys live. I love being involved. You know, I love seeing my photographers that I coach every day, like Stephen Paul and Jane Ritchie and um, Evan Siegel, who's, who's uh, talking to us from um, down in Australia right now. Good to see you, buddy. Just win, won a whole bunch of awards, by the way, the great Evan Siegel. Um, super proud of you, man. Um, and he also won in the top 10 fashion photographers of America awards from the amazing images that he photographed uh, at our workshops, which is pretty exciting. So um, anyway, but uh, I love this. And I think that, um, you know, coming up with marketing strategies, so many photographers are like, I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know what to do. Right. So if that's the case, or maybe you do, maybe you're, you know, you have a marketing strategy, but you're not getting as many qualified leads as you like to. 
as many of us don't, you know? So uh, what can we do? How can we change it? Um, I can give you guys some guidance. I can do that live right now. And I can also, um, you know, plug it into um, some AI and we can come up with some, you know, AI generated um, content as well as um, strategy. And the first thing I would do is literally, um, I'm going to take one of your guys's brands and I'm going to come up with a, a strategy plan just, you know, using AI. And then we're going to go from there as far as writing copy. Um, so uh, anyway, so as you guys are jumping out, okay, so I see a whole bunch of these websites. It's fantastic. We have a huge audience right now. Um, so um, I absolutely love this. Um, okay, so um, you know what? I'm going to take, uh, I, I have this um, wonderful photographer that I've really been um, thankful that I've had a chance to work with. His name is Stephen Paul. Um, and let's start with you, Stephen. Um, and, uh, I, and, and also Steven, if, if you're open to it, um, you know, you, you can also, uh, you know, I, I, I don't mind you actually, um, jumping on and, and giving some, um, you know, asking some questions too, because if you want to, uh, make this more personal to you, um, I'd love to, uh, you know, ha hear what your goals are. So, so Steven, um, you're a lifestyle photographer. You're an amazing photographer. You started off doing, a lot more of the, um, I think, like food and product photography. Uh, then he got involved uh, with the photography workshop series and he created a whole lifestyle brand um, with doing like really, really high end commercial lifestyle. Um, and, uh, and now, um, you know, he's kind of ready to take it to the next level. And I know you're coming to the Newport Beach workshop, which I'm really excited about um, to have you there. Um, and, uh, and I think that, um, you know, it's, it's time to kind of kick it into gear for 2024. So, uh, all right. So let's see here. Um, we've got, uh, the great Stephen Paul's website here. Um, this is a beautiful image they shot in Miami beach at the Miami beach, uh, photographic lifestyle workshop experience, which was amazing. Um, and, uh, we shot with all these top models, high end lifestyle models down there. Um, and anyway, so, you know, he shot this beautiful content, right? So Steven's already ahead of the game. He already has a photographic brand, right? Because remember the three foundations of photography to be successful, photographic brand and portfolio, which he has now, um, it's developing the marketing strategy and implementing it. And then the third is finally then taking those leads from your marketing and then closing the deal. So that's essentially what we need to do next is to, he's, he's developing the brand and he's still going to work with me going forward to refine it and make it amazing. But now what we need to do is take it to the next level and market it so that everybody knows who he is. Okay. And that's, and that's really important. Just everyone needs to know who Stephen Paul is. And I think that's really, really important, you know, and I think that so many photographers, I, I don't know if out there, if, you know, who out there is, um, you know, feeling like, oh man, I, uh, financially, I, I'm struggling as a photographer. I, I'm not making enough as a photographer. I talk to a lot of photographers that are like, hey, you know, I'm not getting booked with, is, you know, not getting booked enough. I'm not making enough per shoot. I, I, I've got a financial problem, a money problem as a photographer. And I'm here to tell you, each and every one of you, every single person on this webinar right now, none of you have a money problem, not a single one. You have an attention problem. That's all it is. People don't know who you are. It's not a money problem. It's just that not enough people know who you are and are knocking down your door to book you. That's the problem. So you definitely need to start thinking of it differently. Um, you know, I, I study all the greats, all the masters, as well as, uh, you know, people that um, are, you know, major billionaires and uh, superstars in business. And that's one of the strategies that I've learned more than anything else. Um, and this is something uh, such as, and if you, any of you guys have ever followed Grant Cardone and some of his um, amazing um, strategies when it comes to marketing and sales. And for him, uh, you know, it's, this is a core component of what he suggests is, you know what, it's, it's doesn't really matter about like um, this, the, you're, you're worrying too much about how much you charge and what you're offering and stuff like that. It needs to be more focused on how many people know who you are and who are the best, most qualified leads. So Steven, I'd like you to ask, answer me in the chat, who is your the most ideal qualified lead for you? Like what is the dream client for you? What, who is that? So Steven, if you could you know, message that in the, um, in the chat. Um, and, uh, and I'd love to hear, um, you know, hear, hear you, you know, mention that because, um, 
Uh, I think uh, everyone would love to hear your thoughts as far as, you know, Stephen, you've got this beautiful photography, your lifestyle photographer, obviously a commercial photographer. Um, so what is it and who do you want to, uh, you know, to know about who you are and to book you? And by the way, I, I'm so good to see so many guys on here. And I love it. Dave Constein. Um, it's so awesome to see you on. I'm, I'm a huge, a huge fan of yours. I, in fact, by the way, guys, that, that this this gentleman that's also on here right now in our audience is a total superstar uh, when it comes to um, marketing, branding, and um, being a big um, uh, advocate for photography. So good to see you, Dave. Um, and he's another one I'd love to have on as a, actually as a panelist. Um, so Stephen, good to see you, buddy. Um, you're uh, talking to me from uh, you're up in Washington. Is that right? I am. Yep, uh, just Excellent. across the river from Portland, Oregon. Excellent. Excellent. And by the way, um, you should be receiving um, a whole bunch of high-end uh, 4K video that was shot at the last workshop that you attended. Um, it's in the mail that you should be arriving any any day now. And I want you to incorporate this content like immediately into your marketing. Yeah, I, I've started doing that. Um, there, There is a video on the about side uh, of the website that you're on and uh, some of my other websites i've i've incorporated that so yeah excited about that so so now that you're on i want to i want to ask you some questions about this okay so i, I see your work and I'm, I'm really impressed first of all i mean you're beautiful work you're an incredible photographer um i'm very very impressed and, it's, and and the work that you've done before the workshops was fantastic already but what i've noticed is that since the workshop in miami that you attended you have a whole new brand like you're on another level as far as quality and production, which is fantastic. You know, after you came to Miami workshop, it's like, oh my gosh, now he's on another level as far as production and quality. So why don't you tell me a little bit about who the ideal client is for you um, and who do you want to be booked by? Is there a certain brand? Is there a certain audience? Yeah, uh, Tommy Bahama would be one that I'm really interested in. Um, being so close to Seattle, um, that's a brand that I've loved for years and years and years and blah, blah, blah. Um, I, I think their stuff's fun. They're always shooting in uh, uh, Hawaii. <laughs> that doesn't suck. <laughs> um, so uh, Levi would be another one. I love Gap. Um, so uh, a number of brands kind of along that that line. Okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I like it. Um, all right. So uh, Tommy Bahama. And, and or, I told you to see that. You look like a Tommy Bahama kind of guy. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, Levi's Gap, fantastic. I've coached photographers to shoot for all those brands, um, specifically uh, Gap and Levi's, which is which is awesome. Um, and uh, and I think that you're you're perfect for this. Um, I, I think that's great. And uh, so okay, so you want to shoot for those brands? And what has been your strategy thus far to get in touch with those kind of clients and actually shoot for Tommy Bahama and Levi's? What have you done so far? Uh, so far, uh, I joined Agency Access and I started uh, gathering uh, email addresses uh, from Tommy Bahama and uh, Nordstrom and, and then uh, have been uh, weekly sending out a, a very short uh, email. Hey, my name's Steven, blah, blah, blah. I'm formerly blind. No, I'm a lifestyle photographer. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. Um, all right. And you're writing this copy yourself? Uh, I am with the help of some some uh, AI. Excellent. I love it. He's already using AI. That's fantastic, Stephen. Um, and um, what are you doing so far with AI? Is it ChatGPT or what, what kind of uh, system? Uh, actually, the, the AI I've been using has been in um, um, Squarespace. Excellent. Uh, Excellent. So you're using the Squarespace um, that's it's already integrated. So you're just kind of having Squarespace auto-generate some content for your website. Yeah. And so I'm putting a few little things where what I'm wanting to say, because uh, uh, English, I actually tried to take that as a foreign language or a, a second language because um, I was that bad at it in college. So uh, uh, <laughs> it's kind of silly, but it's true. Um, and so I've just been trying to utilize that um, so far. And I've heard a ton about chat uh, GTP, but I haven't tried it. I've been so focused on, so I've got Stephen Paul Lifestyle, Stephen Paul Architecture, Stephen yep. Paul Studio um, uh, as just a couple of my brands. And 
with uh, uh, direction from you and your team um, is what's helped me collate all the stuff. Um, and that's been majorly helpful in, in things that I should keep and not keep. Yeah, we've done some image reviews and some, you know, some content edits and stuff like that. And this is actually, you know, it's just part of what we do because we're really heavily involved in our photographers' lives. I and mean, we coach you guys, we guide you guys. And, um, and, you know, we're really excited because we've got Photographers University coming up in January. And this is going to be like this on steroids, like everything we're talking about right now, but on the next level. Um, so if you guys do want to get involved in that, we're going to talk a little bit about that too. But it's basically taking um, each photographer personally and going through and doing full scale like edits of their brand of their marketing strategies which images they should use how they should retouch them what they should do to um for their messaging and incorporating things like ai incorporating things like strategies of um that, that steven's already kind of you know dabbling in which i love i love to see um it, it, so what i think so helpful about it is just helping me understand how to look at what i need to be doing um, cause I've, I've formed so many ideas on my own that didn't work and it's been super helpful. Like when I'm showing my portfolio to people, uh, instead of getting a response of like, you know, I've got a friend that's got a really nice camera. You know, I, I show my portfolio and people are like, holy crap, you're good. <laughs> you are, <laughs> you are, man. You're, you're a fantastic uh, photographer. So the, the presentation part that I didn't quite have. And so. That's been a, a wonderful first step. Um, it's huge. Right. So we're talking, and when you say presentation, we're talking about brand, right? Exactly. Yeah. 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 Okay. So your brand, your brand is super strong. Okay. So we've got a really, really strong brand, um, amazing content, and we're going to be adding to it because, um, you know, he's actually joining us uh, at the lifestyle workshop coming up in, um, in, in February. All five yeah. All five days. It's going to be cool. All, all five days. All five days. So he's going to be, you know, adding to it. And, and this is kind of how we do things, guys. We, we, when we do these intensive five-day experiences, uh, they all kind of correlate together. So they're not, everything's all very strategically planned. Like the Miami workshop that he attended, it works literally perfectly with the Newport Beach workshop in February, as well as the October um, uh, elite masterclass on lifestyle photography that we have coming up in October. So it's, we have all these, everything is integrating really, really seamlessly. Um, and that's something that, um, I'm, you know, I really love because that way they can, you know, guys like Steven can basically create this super, super strong, cohesive body of work, uh, that is absolutely, you know, breathtaking. It's content that is, um, you know, it's, it's going to grab the attention of all of those um, clients, out, people that you want to achieve. So um, that's that's fantastic. Okay, so um, uh, you know, and, and like to give you guys an idea, like this is kind of some of the stuff that we are going to be doing in Newport Beach, right? Um, is that is that playing for you guys? Uh, it is playing. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, so you know, content like this, uh, where it's just like it's fresh, it's um, you know, it's it's beautiful, it's lifestyley. Um, and also it's content that, um, is, uh, extremely marketable, you know, um, and we're going to get that in that whole lifestyle vibe that also works really well with, you know, with Steven's brand, you know, I could totally see a little bit of like Tommy Bahama and stuff like that coming in here. You know what I mean? Um, which I think is, uh, which could be kind of cool. So anyway, that was a, that was some of the content we just shot at a one-on-one -on -one with one of our photographers, David Gesbrecht. Um, but, um, okay. So Steven, um, we kind of have an idea of the brands you want to go for. We already kind of know you, you already are ahead of the game. You got what we call agency access, which I wanted to bring up. Um, now, uh, agency access, if you guys don't know it already, it's basically a pay to play system where you get access to a list of all the most important decision makers in the world that hire photographers, right? So these people are really important. They're, you know, they're really vital, important people that are major decision makers. And they're the ones that are hiring photographers at all the big ad agencies. These are art producers at ad agencies, creative directors at ad agencies. Um, they're uh, production coordinators. I mean, they have all of the most important decision makers as well as magazines with uh, photo editors, fashion editors, all those people. So if you want to get in touch with any of these people, um, I strongly recommend um, using agency access um, just because it's, you know, just to save time. It's going to be impossible to get that done um, on your own, right? So, um, but here's the next thing is if you, 
you know, using agency access is great. We can find out who these people are. So all you do is get an agencyaccess.com. And once you have a, you know, a, um, a subscription, you just type in what brand you want to shoot for. Um, you know, oh, I want to shoot for, uh, you know, for Gucci, or I want to shoot for um, Tommy Bahama or something like that. And it'll pull up who those decision makers are, right? So that's essentially, you know, how that works. Um, so, uh, you know, for instance, and I'll, I'll actually show you guys live. So, so you know what I'm talking about. Um, so, uh, for instance, um, I'm on, uh, I, I'm a subscriber to agency access too. Um, so I went into the creative section, um, and, uh, I'm going to be looking, um, uh, for companies. Um, I'm going to be looking for, uh, let's say, let's see if Tommy Bahama, uh, Tommy Bahama is in here. Yep, it is. Okay, great. So, um, we can see, and we can see all the contacts. Right. So um, we can see all these people right here. Okay. So these are really important people, especially like, you know, Beth Ann Anderson. So have you um, spoken to her yet, Stephen? I've reached out to her, but she has not returned any of my emails. Um, okay. And actually, I was, I was pulling up my mail to see who's clicked on it. It's been kind of interesting because I've been, I've been messaging Ogilvy. Uh, uh, TBWA, um, uh, Starbucks, because I, well, Starbucks is like three hours, the world headquarters from my house. Um, uh, GSD and M, uh, Wyden and Kennedy, 72 and Sunny, Abilene Taylor. Uh, and Abilene Taylor, actually, I've gotten the most like clicks from on my emails, um, yeah. along with uh, Wyden and Kennedy, mm -hmm. uh, which surprised me. And um, those have been like the three that that I'm getting like thirty ish to yeah about about thirty ish WK I got uh, thirty six opens from WK okay. so so okay so this is great so he's sending an email broadcast out um, and uh, and and you're doing a message to and what are you saying in this message Stephen right now um let's like, see like, give me an let's example of like what you're going to say to white and kennedy or what you know the kind of message that you're sending out to these decision makers and is this through constant contact or what um platform mailchimp like what which one are you using uh, mailchimp is is what i'm i'm using okay great and uh, pull it up here um, great so, so stevens i'm getting about using email broadcasting system here. Um, so, I, I mean, there's a million of them. I've literally used them all. <laughs> so I've used, you know, Infusionsoft Keep. Um, I've used uh, Constant Contact, MailChimp, um, Vertical Response, Mad Mimi. Um, there's, uh, there's like literally like, there's Pardot with Salesforce. There's, there's, there's literally tons and tons, dozens and dozens of these companies. Um, and, you know, in my opinion, I think some of my favorites have been um, MailChimp and Constant Contact. I feel like they have fairly higher delivery rates um, and also the usability is really strong. Uh, the only downside is they're very simple. They're very, very simple systems, which is great if you don't really know what you're doing, but, uh, and you're kind of a novice to it. But if you want to create some really sophisticated systems, I recommend something like Go High Level um, or Infusionsoft Keep or HubSpot. And you can create a whole series of very, very sophisticated funnels and auto um, and auto send. So basically you create a full map of how this is going to play out and you can set up a chain of events. Now you can do versions of this in, you know, in MailChimp and stuff like that, but it's not at the same sophisticated level. So when I use these systems, you know, I, I'll set up a chain of like 15 different emails that go chain by chain, by chain, depending on if this person opens the email, not open the email. If this person opens the email and clicks, then they go a different direction and it goes from there. So that might be a system in which you might want to incorporate as well, Stephen, especially when you do some really, really heavy marketing and you start building your list and sending larger amounts of people out. Uh, that messages. makes sense. I've been out how to do that in MailChimp and I'm like I, I don't yeah. think you can so um yeah. but here's what my email says so my subject is blind photographer question mark um and then the the intro is yeah true story I lost my sight for two and a half years uh regaining my sight uh I became a photographer who specializes in hashtag uh lifestyle photography and both still in motion uh I'd love to connect with you and share my journey if you're curious um Okay, that's Please genius. Okay, so I love this. So I love Stephen's message right here. All right. So everything he just said, true life stories, we're making it personal. Stephen's also incorporating something that's catching because it's like, what, a blind photographer? That's ridiculous. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like people are going to be 
almost off put by that, like a blind photographer, you know, and then you, you also people that are also looking at inclusion and maybe people that have had challenges in the past, they, it's going to catch an interest. So I would imagine that that title of that probably had a pretty high open rate. What was your open rate it, on that? It did. And it depended on the company. But like I said, um, let's see, WK. Um, sorry, my internet's really slow today. Um, it's okay. up, to, up to like 40% open. Wow. Which wow. is pretty high. Yeah. Um, that's really high. Okay. So, so guys, like a good open rate is usually about, I would say like 28% or so would be a pretty solid open rate. If you're getting 40%, that means you're doing everything right. So Steven, so, um, hats off to you. That's a really strong. Thanks. Uh, Widening Kennedy, I got a 62% open rate. So 36 people there opened it. Wow. Um, so yeah. WK was, was huge. Um, Okay. So, so uh, what now though? These people opened it. Some of them clicked on it. What was their click through rate? Um, that was super low. Um, that was super low. So zero, zero click through. Got it. Okay. Okay. So, so maybe we need to come up with a better, um, call to action. Uh, that is going to get them interested. So, uh, you know, you're a creative guy. I'd like you to start thinking about a call to action that, um, you know, that might really inspire them and capture their interest. And which image did you use to attach to this uh, email? I used the uh, the header one on the website. The Got it. Okay, that's a fantastic image. Um, yeah, we were just looking at that a second ago. Um, so, uh, okay, so the beautiful image. So you've got great, great content, right? So beautiful content. Yeah. Um, and then 67 yeah. nice. with Ogilvy others. Nice. Okay. Fantastic. Fantastic. So, uh, so this, uh, this is the image, correct? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Great. I love it. All right. Smart. You can see it without the haze over it. Sure. Sure. Um, yeah. Is there a way to do that on your website? Uh, yeah, just slide down. Uh, cause the, the picture is lower, lower on the website. Um, okay. I would probably advise uh, not doing the haze thing like that. I would just kind of have it, um, more. It was so that you could read read some of the like the about you couldn't see the about without it. Oh, um, that's okay. So the uh, not, not necessary. Um, because remember, guys, you're, you're photographers, so that's literally they're, what you need to be showcasing. You know, I mean, they're going to be more interested in that than anything else. Your work, you know, that's that's all they're going to be really focusing on. So, okay. So great image. Um, great story, really fantastic messaging. I'm really, really proud of you. Um, Steven, because this is, this is brilliant. Okay. Um, now what? I want to know what is your follow-up? What have you done since you did this email? You had a really high open rate, low click rate, but the people were looking at it. You're getting attention because that's what matters more than anything. Um, then what? Then I followed up about five days later. Okay. Um, and the second one. Oh, with um, another email. Okay. Uh, okay. And did you call them? I have not called them. No. Okay. Okay. So that's the, the challenge right there. Okay. Cause like anyone can send an email, anyone and everybody is cause they're getting like millions of emails constantly. Right. Um, but five days, first of all, five days later, they've already forgotten about you. They don't even know who you are anymore. Five days. They've already received like literally, you know, 5,000 emails since then. And they, psh, you know, it's like, okay, that it's, it's already in the back of their mind. It's very unlikely they'd even remember you if you did call them. Okay. So uh, first and foremost, guys, the most critical component is your follow-up. And this is where photographers fail so badly. Um, and when I say follow-up, I mean, you need to, if you're seeing these important decision makers and there's not that many of them. So it's not like Steven's, you know, talking about 10,000 people to call, you know, we're talking about a small select group of people, you know, maybe of these top people, maybe there's 50 that are art buyers that have looked at his email. That's fantastic. Okay. Let's call each and every one of those people. And I would call them at least three or four times until you get a hold of them at least. And I would just keep calling these people until you get a hold of them because you need to communicate with them. You need to personally get on with them. And that is really important. Okay. That's not something that AI is going to do for you. You have to be able to communicate with these people directly. Um, continue to email them, but emailing is just 
you know, it's just showing off. It's just like, you know what? He's going to drop a little newsletter. He's going to just throw a little bit of interest or whatever. But they're not going to out of the blue all of a sudden email you and say, hey, I saw your email. I'm ready to book you on a $200,000 campaign for Tommy Bahama, you know, or Starbucks or something. They're just not going to do that. That's, I mean, it's, yeah. yeah. I've got one connection with uh, Jeremy Carson, who works at Saatchi and Saatchi mm -hmm. um, down in LA. Um, but he's he's doing Toyota campaigns. Right, right, right. And and that's the thing is uh, you, you might have the great connection, but like unless you're shooting cars, Saatchi in L.A. only shoots cars. And this is something that you guys need to know. You need to know your agencies. If you're going after commercial work, you need to know which agencies are out there. He mentioned a bunch of great ones, but you also need to know what brands they're working on. And Saatchi and Saatchi, for instance, all they do is basically um, Lexus. And um, and Toyota down in L.A. In New York, Saatchi and Saatchi has a whole bunch of other brands. So you need to go to New York to talk to those people. Um, but what you might do is use that connection that you did build in L.A. and have him introduce you to the people at the New York office. Oh, OK. You know, because otherwise they don't know who you are. Right. I've personally met with them. I've met with Saatchi and Saatchi multiple times. I know all their art buyers and creative directors and stuff. Um, I've uh, met with Team One. Actually, Team One is a subsidiary of uh, Saatchi and they uh, they do Lexus. So it's basically Saatchi and Saatchi. But for Lexus, um, uh, same thing. You know, I know all of them over there. Um, I met with Shia Day. I know I know all these agencies and people. But like it's important, though, because I met them in person. OK, now that being said, during COVID, you know, it, that changed everything. So now they might not meet as, much, as often, right? That's good for someone like you. You live up in, you know, up in Washington. You're, you're so far from LA, New York that like, hey, it's not easy for you to go and go down the corner. Like for me, I live literally 15 minutes from the Saatchi office, right? And I'm in Hermosa Beach. I'm 15 minutes away from El Segundo where the Saatchi office is. So for me, it's very, very easy. So, um, you know, for me, it's no big deal. But for you, because you live in Washington, now is the best time to set up Zoom calls, man. Because a lot of these people aren't even going to meet people in person anymore, but they're going to meet us um, on Zoom, just like we're doing now. And that's what I would suggest. I would do everything you can to build a relationship. Keep sending the emails. Keep building the relationships. Keep calling them. And I would call them religiously right afterwards. I would also set up personalized emails, not just through your system, whether it's HubSpot or Infusionsoft or MailChimp or whatever, you know, auto chain, because they're going to know it's a chain of emails there. It's not that personalized. So you're going to then I would personally email them and call them and make sure that they know who you are. So I would call them and I would immediately get through to that person. If you if there's a, a um, person that's a gatekeeper, such as their, you know, um, a person on the phone who is an assistant or, a, you know, an office person, I would just say um, you're, you're calling up and, uh, you know, you're tr you're trying to reach um, this uh, Beth Ann Anderson. She's a, a photo production manager at Tommy Bahama. Right. So if you're calling Tommy Bahama. Right. We just looked her up on agency access and we're calling Tommy Bahama. Um, and uh, here. So I'll show you guys um, what I'm talking about. She so, should be getting from Hawaii in the next perfect. perfect. So she's in Hawaii. Great. No, it, um, uh, All this her... she, she oh. says the location's in Seattle. Yeah. So is she in Seattle or is she in um, Hawaii? Is in Seattle? She was on a photo shoot. Um, I've been following her uh, Instagram account. So perfect. That's... Perfect. Okay. So even better. So he's taking it up another level. He's following her Instagram. So what I would do is I would comment on all her her pictures. Uh, that she's posting on her stories. I would message her. Um, I would DM her and, um, you know, and compliment her. Be like, oh, I love what you're doing. Uh, the shoot you produced, you know, in, in Hawaii is incredible for time in Bahama. Love it. Genius. Something like that. You know, make it all about her. Compliment her massively and make her, you know, and, and you know, I doubt that like Beth probably has that many comments on her posts. How many comments does she typically have? I don't remember seeing any. Um, okay, well, there you go. So if you start commenting, she's not yeah. a celebrity. She just works at an office, right? So she's going to notice you if you comment. And that's what I would do. This is something that's really smart as a marketing strategy is I would, you know, follow her on Insta, comment on her pictures, DM her. And by the way, take it up another level. Um, are you also um, a verified on Instagram? I'm not. Okay, so... That's something I would fix right now. Like 
right as soon as we're done with this is you should be verified because you know I, I, i've been verified like because you know I'm, I'm a tv director and host and stuff and i have lots of publications and stuff that i could you know prove of my verification or whatever but nowadays anyone can be verified anybody and all it takes is like 15 bucks a month and you get the blue check not only is it give you more uh gravitas on social media, but it also, I've noticed that once you're verified, your messages slide in to their, um, to their DMs much easier because I don't know if you've ever noticed, but a lot of times when you're DMing somebody, uh, they generally, um, uh, aren't going to, um, see it or respond that it often. Like to throttle the account for sure. It does. Um, it does. So I've, do it, man. I mean, 15 bucks a month, it's crazy. Yeah. Nonsense. yeah. Yeah. And so, so I would get verified on Instagram. All of you guys should go ahead and get verified right now. That'll help you immediately. It'll help your brand. It'll help your DMS. It'll help your marketing, everything about that. And then if you're calling Beth Ann, you, you know, so you messaged her, you DM'd her, you've emailed her, and then I would call her even if she's in Hawaii, that's okay. You know? Um, but then when she gets back to the office, try to get a hold of her then. Um, if you, if there's any way you can get her personal phone or cell phone, even better. And I would immediately talk to her and be like, you know, oh my gosh, Bethany, I love that work that you did in Hawaii. You know, I, I'm that, um, the, the blind photographer, if you remember my email. And she's going, oh yeah, that was really cute. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, or she might just be confused if she doesn't remember. Blind photographer, how do you do that? <laughs> you know, but immediately got your attention, right? So now she's like, okay, she's interested and she's going to talk to you. And, and that's a cool story because who knows, maybe they'd even do a campaign around something like that. I think many brands would. I think it's actually brilliant. You know, show off who you are. Anyway, I, and by the way, guys, I'm also doing um, I'm doing polls. So if you guys are noticed, like I'm asking you guys questions, I really encourage you guys to answer. I love it. Um, and the question that I just posed here is, what is your critical, your most critical challenge that you deal with as a photographer? And it looks like 46% of you uh, say that my marketing needs to improve. Okay, um, so. Uh, th that's really interesting. So, and then it's like, none of you said my portfolio can be enhanced. That's strange because I'm sure all of you could. Uh, I definitely would focus on your portfolio as well. Um, a few of you say I'm not charging enough for my photography. Well, I also think probably all of you are not charging enough for your photography. Um, you know, if, if, you're, if you're taking less than, if you're shooting commercially, for instance, and you know, you're taking less than 30,000 a day to do a production, you're not charging enough for your photography and you need to improve. And I can help you with that. That's something I can coach you guys on. Um, if you're a wedding photographer and you know you're not billing between you know five thousand and fifteen thousand a wedding, then you're not charging anywhere close to enough as a photographer, and you're being taken advantage of. Okay, so I definitely want to encourage you guys to price yourself higher. Um, and then uh, some of you said I need to improve my network. Well, that's another thing. You guys all need to improve your network badly, okay? Meeting with important people, meeting with the important decision makers. Like if there was a, you know, a, a Hollywood club where this managing art producer and this art buyer and this creative director and this photo editor all hung out, I would be there, you know? Now, unfortunately, they generally don't do that. It's not, you know, it's a little bit different in this industry. Um, so we need to find other ways of getting to connect with them. But even if it is through LinkedIn or through Instagram or through Facebook or through email and phone call, whatever it is, you need to be networking with these people all the time, building relationships, you know, and just sending a passive email like that, Stephen, it's not enough. You're not even close. You're just, just, breaking in just a tiny foot in the door. That's all you're trying to get, but it's the call and the follow-up and all of the action that you need to take. So that's what I'm going to encourage you to do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know I wasn't doing enough. I just didn't want to be obnoxious because there's wow. at some point obnoxious part. Um, I don't feel there, but I've, I've always been way over the top sensitive to that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Well, I don't think you should worry too much about that because remember what I said, it's, it's not like, like photographers thinking that they have a money problem. It's not a money problem. It's an attention problem, meaning that people don't know who you are. Okay. So we need to improve on the attention, meaning you need people to know who you are. And if you are hustling and going crazy with all the marketing, I mean, that's great. You need to, but then you also need to follow up and you need to get out there and you need to be all over it. Now, by the way, guys, um, 
I um, I know we're answering a lot of stuff on the chat. I have a very busy chat, so I'd love to see that. Um, and I know uh, the great uh, Priscilla is on, who's our uh, production coordinator. I know Stephen knows her really well. Um, she's and, on. Uh, she's she's answering some questions on here as well, which I which I love. So if you guys see Priscilla on here, she's actually a production coordinator, and she's also the Chatelaine of my forty nine room thirteenth century castle in France, which we also uh, hold a workshop at which is also uh, pretty fantastic. Um, and I know um, some of you guys have, that are on right now, like Evan, uh, you've been to the castle and actually experienced the photographic workshop at my um, 49 room castle in France and got to have the amazing experience there and shoot this mind blowing content. And something like this, for instance, this draws attention, right? I mean, it's one of the reasons I bought the castle because it's attention building, showing that you've got a castle, right? Showing you have a location. You know, if I'm going to be showcasing and, and Stephen, if, you know, I'm being like, hey, I want to, you know, I shoot currently for Burberry. I shoot for um, Giorgio Armani. If I want to shoot for more and more of these high fashion brands, do you think I'm going to be showcasing this to those brands and building value and showing them something unique and special and garnering attention? You bet I am. And I'm going to be annoying about it. I am going to be all over them. I'm going to be all over Versace. I'm going to be all over Gucci. I'm going to be all over um, Dolce Gabbana because I want them to think about shooting their campaign here, regardless of, of um, you know, who they're already thinking of. But hey, they can also, I can host, you know, up to 38 guests within the castle. So I can host an entire production team. I can have Michelin star chefs providing amazing food and beverage for them. Showcasing something like that, I tell you what, it garners attention, it adds value, shows them something super unique about what I offer, and it gets me in the door. But then you've got to follow up. You've got to email this. You've got to market this. You've got to message them. You've got to LinkedIn, email, um, uh, DM on Instagram, Facebook, phone call, um, every aspect of that. And then you still might not even get attention. But everything you need to do is to build that, you know, that, that um, exceptional uh, like desire to be a part of my, you know, my tribe. And that's what I'm trying to do. So, um, but I don't mind being kind of annoying. And Stephen, I think you should be. I think you got to be all over them because otherwise you're probably not speaking to them on a regular basis. And guess what? Who do you think they're speaking to? Your competition. Somebody else yeah. is in the job and they already have a relationship with them. Okay. By the way, in the chat, um, I am also putting a link and I highly recommend you guys click on this. Um, but it's, it's effectively, we are offering a one-on-one -on -one free photographic strategy session. And by the way, we're going to start charging for these doing um, photographic consult strategy sessions because, you know, we have professional photographic consultants on my team. Um, we have been offering them for free, um, you know, for, for a time. And we've been very, very generous about that. Um, but um, we are going to be um, having this as a paid service. But right now, we are still offering these completely for free. And I strongly recommend you guys take advantage of this, okay? Um, and because it's 30 minutes, oftentimes they go longer. I know, Stephen, you've done some of these strategy sessions with people on our team, and it sounds like you've gotten a lot out of them, haven't you? I've gotten a ton. It is so worth it. Yeah. And, and Stephen's really taken advantage of it because he's like, you know what? I'm eager. I want to go big, you know? And, and he did it before the workshop and right after the workshop and then going on into the next one. And he's going to do it after the next one, too. I assume. So, you know, Stephen, you know, did you get some strategies as far as like which images to use and kind of some marketing ideas and things like that? Mainly, we just focused on images, images, mm -hmm. images. Is it, mine were so all over the board. Yeah. Um, I thought I was showing things well. And in, in fact, I wasn't. Um, yeah. There were lots of great images, but they they didn't make a cohesive brand. Right. Um, Right. Yeah. They didn't, they didn't make a cohesive brand and that's what you needed. You needed to create a cohesive brand and that's, that's super, super, super important. Um, by the way, guys, if you guys are liking this, you know, I know we've got a big audience on right now and, and it's fantastic to have all of you guys. Um, but, uh, you know, this is, we're, we're going over Steven's, you know, content here. We're doing some amazing stuff live. Um, which is awesome. Uh, we're showcasing how we can maybe take his brand to the next level and get him booked on Tommy Bahama, get him booked on shooting for Starbucks, you know, getting him booked on shooting Levi's and Gap and all these brands um, that he totally is capable of shooting for. And we're helping them get in the door. And you know what? What we're doing right now is literally uh, the um, just a snippet of what we're going to be doing this Saturday. So um, on Saturday, we're going in depth 
and we're going to be doing an advanced marketing photographic workshop. This is an intensive guys. This is going to be like five, six hours long, and it's going to be like literally advanced marketing bootcamp. Okay. So we're going to go in depth. We're going to be doing this type of stuff and we can do it with you and we can go in depth about your marketing strategy, even live. And we can do um, concepts. We can develop it. We can incorporate AI in, in, to, you know, to help you write copy, to uh, help you come up with plans and strategies. And I strongly, strongly encourage you guys get involved. Um, now, typically, these are all of our uh, virtual workshops, such as advanced marketing. We've done uh, photographic branding, photographic marketing, storytelling, art direction, um, and posing. Um, we've done all these amazing uh, photographic uh, virtual workshops, and they, they're typically $12.95. Um, right now, though, we are offering them for $300 off for only $9.95. So if you want to join us and join us live on Saturday, and also you'll get full access, not only will be live with me um, but and my team, but also you're going to get lifetime access to be able to watch it many times over, um, which is really, really valuable. And we, the last time we did this marketing workshop, it was incredible. And we've had um, hundreds of photographers, you know, watch it also and rebroadcast um, and um, take their uh, marketing to the next level. So it's pretty fantastic. Um, and um, I'm also uh, going to be um, uh, here sharing it right now. Um, if you can, if you want to actually showcase, um, click on that. Um, if you are interested in any of the stuff we're talking about and you want to have the next level of your photographic marketing and you want to start actually taking it from where you are to where you want to be, to having that attention grabbing um, content, to have that content that you, everyone knows who you are and you're going to have the dream clients who are going to be interested in working with you and eventually are going to be, you know, so excited and maybe even batting down your door instead of you constantly going after them, but creating an attention magnet so that they gonna, they're going to want to be in your circle. They're going to want to be with you. It's very, very, very important to me. Um, that you guys uh, get involved in this because I can't tell you how valuable it's going to be and how many tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars you're going to make from it once you attend. So um, I can guarantee I, I an unbelievable uh, value. What's that, Stephen? I watched one that you did earlier, and uh, that's how I got the ideas for keeping the the short uh, uh, subject and, and just trying to be a little witty and and very short. Um, so yeah. it, it was super valuable and, and it was on, on one of the videos that I watched from you, um, one of your advanced, uh, marketing videos. It was great. So. Excellent. Excellent. And, and what he's referring to guys is, um, keeping the messaging short. I'm actually really glad you brought this up. Um, a lot of times as, uh, photographers, we want to tell our story, right? We want to talk about, you know, all the great stuff about, um, what we want to say. And these long messages and long emails, whether they're personal emails or whether they're, a, you know, a, a full like email broadcast. But I'm going to tell you what, guys, what's a lot more um, uh, effective is very short and sweet emails. Very short and sweet. Keeping it one sentence. Two sentences max. If it's more than two sentences, you're writing a paragraph or a page, they're not going to read it. And in my experience, I have a lot of experience marketing. I've sent literally tens of millions probably in the hundreds of a lot better response with the shorter the text. If I have a text, if I, if my email message is one sentence or two sentences, the, um, the, the open rate, the click through rate, and also the response rate is going to be five times higher than like a page long email. It's, it's, it, it's surprising. Less is more especially important people, the more important the person is, the shorter the email should be. <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but oftentimes, like if you're talking at, for instance, CEOs, whenever I'm speaking to a CEO or I'm emailing a CEO or something like that, if I ever get a response back from a CEO, it's, it's, it's usually a phrase. <laughs> it's hardly even a sentence. It's usually a phrase if I'm lucky. They're very, very short. They're busy. They're right to the point. They're not going to waste their time with a long drawn out message. Okay. So if you know, you're dealing with an executive creative director in an ad agency or a um, art producer at an agency or something like that, or, or somebody at a brand, they're not going to read it. They're so busy. They're not going to read it. And I'll tell you, I'm the same way at this point. Somebody writes me a page long email or a paragraph. I don't even read it. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't, I'm just, I'm too busy. 
I, I don't have time to sit there and read this long thing. I just like I gloss over it. And I, you know, try to find a few points, but I'll just move on. You know, so I highly recommend short and sweet. Um, and then the follow up, guys, because the follow up is critical. Um, so we mentioned the, the Instagram idea, right, with um, getting the blue tick, getting verified on Instagram, which is key. It's really, really important. And I think that that right now could like enhance your branding like today. Right. And it's so cheap. It's, you know, it's crazy not to crazy not to do that. You know, we're so lucky that we live in a day and age where you don't have to be a celebrity or a, a supermodel or, you know, or a famous artist or something to be um, to be verified. Uh, but you can just, you know, just pay 15 bucks a month. And be verified. I mean, it's fantastic. Um, I mean, I, I think it's great. I love it. I love it. Um, and I've seen so many photographers that I've coached become really successful with that. So, um, you know, doing that and then, of course, posting fantastic content. Um, you know, I think that, uh, you know, some, so many of our um, uh, photographers on here, they don't all have amazing content. And somebody like Steven really does. And many of our photographers do that have taken our workshops, like this amazing content just on our homepage, photographyworkshopseries.com, shot in New York, right? This is amazing content and it's video content that's playing. I cannot stress enough, even as a photographer, how valuable video is, okay? Video is absolutely key and critical to your success. And it's also something that's probably not going to go away um, with, uh, you know, the incorporation of AI. Okay. Um, by the way, I, I have a few questions here um, that before I move on, and that is um, from Tanya Ham Hamner. She asks, is there a spot to go to to find the bids that they are wanting for a shoot? For example, I raise sheep and have an ex uh, amazing ranch with mountains. So if uh, Woolrick or Pendleton is in need, um, how do I know? Do they post it somewhere? Um, so, okay. So Tanya, that's, that's a great question. Um, unfortunately, no, any major brand is generally not going to post it unless they're looking for somebody who's going to be doing it for very, very cheap. I mean, sometimes there are little posts like smart shoot and stuff like that, which are terrible websites where basically photographers are in a race to the bottom to bid against each other for like next to nothing and do these kind of garbage shoots. Um, and, and it's actually a funny, a funny example about this. Early in my career, um, I used something like that. It might have been smart shooter or competitor. And all these people were like bidding like crazy low numbers to do a lookbook. It was like a, I don't know, half a day shoot for a look, fashion lookbook for a brand. And um, they wanted like, you know, all these, I don't know, 15 looks or something like that. Um, and they wanted to do this awesome lookbook which a lookbook is basically they do it every quarter and they showcase it to a, um, uh, to their, um, uh, to the, to the buyers, basically those who are going to be buying the, their wardrobe at, um, uh, like at department stores, Bloomingdale's and, um, Barney's and, you know, all those types of stores. So, um, it's pretty important for these people to have a, uh, you know, for these fashion brands to do essentially a lookbook. Right. So if they're going to do a lookbook, um, they're they generally have a budget. But of course, this person went on there and put an ad up and had this really low. You know, they had people bid whatever. But a lot of these people were bidding like eight hundred bucks, thousand bucks, five hundred bucks, like just ridiculously low numbers to do a fashion lookbook. And, I, you know, it's like, are you kidding me? Like the cost of the models, the cost of the styling, the cost of the production, the catering, everything, it adds up. Right. And, and no one in the right mind could do it for that cost unless they're losing money if they're, it, or they're going to do it terribly. Right. So, of course, uh, they're probably going to do it terribly. Now, luckily, I just I came in and even though everybody's I think they even posted their like budget as like, I don't know, fifteen hundred dollars or something. Stephen, what do you think I I offered them? I would guess around 30 K. Yeah. So I did. I think it was in this case, this was early in my career. I mean, I was in my like, um, I don't know, early to mid twenties. And I, um, I think I offered like, um, around $20,000 to do it. Okay. And, um, and, uh, we ended up doing it. <laughs> we ended up doing it. Um, believe it or not, even though her budget was 1500 that she stated and all these other people were bidding low, she was like, who the hell is this? Why is he bidding so high? And instead of like dismissing me, it garnered interest. And she started talking to me about it. She started to be excited about it. And then she wanted to work with me, which was really awesome. And believe it or not, it ended up working. And it, it surprisingly, bidding high actually booked me the job. 
because it gave more respect. But, you know, I, I thought, you know, that's what I deserve. I mean, it's not an ad campaign. It's a lookbook. Uh, but that's what I deserve for the shoot. Right. So we did it. It was amazing. They were super happy with it. Um, and, uh, you know, the content was was absolutely um, beautiful. It was it was amazing content. So, um, you know, and I did, I used to do a lot of those lookbooks like early in my career because it was a really great way to make money. It was a really good, quick way to make I, money. Um, were you on, What's um, that? on that lookbook, were you paying the models or uh, was the fashion brand paying them? So that's something that I worked out with the, with them was um, I got the brand. In this case, it's very sticky because oftentimes the brands want to, um, if they book them themselves, they usually go cheap and they book crappy models because they're cheap. So um, I was like, I stipulated that I will do the shoot. She paid the models, but in but my stipulation was that I got to select in the casting. So I ended up, you know, having a big say in who we cast because I think that's really important. So, um, and by the way, actually, I think I have an example of the shoot, actually. Yeah, this is an example of the shoot right here. So this was the lookbook shoot for the brand. Um, and uh, it. it turned out beautiful, right? Turned out beautiful. Ended up, uh, you know, being a gorgeous scene. So um, anyway, so, you know, when you're doing, um, you know, content like this, just remember, like, it is valued. It's definitely value valued. And believe it or not, if you price yourself too low, not only are you pricing yourself, basically it's a race to the bottom, but then also people don't respect you. And who wants to not have respect? You know, I want people to be value my photography and really appreciate it. I think that's really, really, really important. Yeah. Um, yeah. By the way, guys, I'd love to hear from any of you guys who have um, gone ahead and um, clicked on the uh, getting involved in the marketing workshop and if I'm going to see you. And, and also, those of you who are on here who are already registered for it, let me know as well. I'd love to hear from you because um, we're really, really excited and Saturday is going to be absolutely epic. Um, I'm planning a lot of fun stuff and it's going to be super intensive. So those of you guys who are joining us, just make sure that like you are ready to go um, in front of your computer, writing notes, totally engaged. And I want you to stay through the entire thing because it's going to totally knock your socks off with um, what you're going to take away from it. Um, and I always go over the top and over deliver on all this stuff. So if you guys, um, it, you know, let me know in the chat um, who is actually um, coming or if anyone on here is already enrolled, love um, to, uh, to get involved. Uh, to, to I'm excited. I, yeah. I believe I'm no. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So Steven's coming on Saturday. I'm super excited. And any of you guys who are enrolled in Photographers University, um, uh, if any of you guys are enrolled yet, I also wanted to let you know that um, you can, you know, A, enroll right now and get a $300 discount. So instead of it being $1,295 um, for um, the uh, Advanced Marketing Photographic Workshop, um, you could enroll in that right now and join us on Saturday. Or... If you want to take it to another level and get even more value, um, we are offering um, the opportunity to enroll in the Photographer's University, which is our 30-day accelerator that happens um, uh, starting in January. But leading up to it, we're going to be offering anybody that's getting involved in Photographer's University complete full access to the advanced marketing workshop totally for free whether you want to watch it live and join us live or whether you want to watch it rebroadcast but we're going to offer that completely included in photographers university on all different levels if you do foundations of photography um signature style or uh if you guys are in the industry icon program so and if you guys don't know what photographers university is yet um i definitely I uh, would recommend checking it out because it's going to be something extremely special. Um, and basically what we're doing is um, taking all this coaching and guidance like we've given Stephen over time. And we're going to be offering that as a 30-day ultra-intensive accelerator where you're going to have 30 days with me. 30 days with me where I'm going to be doing weekly intensives live with you just with those in Photographers University going in depth about every aspect of how to master your photography and take you from wherever you are. I don't care if you are a beginner or you are a seasoned professional that shoots for Vogue. I'm going to take you to an entire new echelon in your photographic career. It's going to be incredibly intensive. It's going to be live. And then also we're going to have not only you're going to have um, ongoing connection with me weekly, but then also you're going to have um, a one-on-one -on -one coach who's going to be doing a series of one-on-ones through the 30 days with you with breakout sessions. They're going to completely rock your world and they're going to be amazing. So um, if you guys are interested in getting involved in that, um, 
I strongly recommend um, the foundations of photography is the basic one. Um, this is the first one where it's um, it's twenty nine ninety seven, and right now we are offering this um, for only um, nineteen ninety seven. So basically, it's just um, for another thousand bucks more over the uh, marketing for photographers workshop. You not only get thirty days with me as well as a photographic coach and mentor, but then you also get access to um, uh, working with. We literally have the incredible, I think we have four of our virtual workshops, including in this. So essentially it's 1295 times four. So all of those are completely included as part of this content. It's over 20 hours of content. Plus we have um, a whole series. I think there's about um, a, a dozen amazing uh, downloadable assets um, and all kinds and a, a exclusive photographic community. We have all kinds of incredible goodies in that, but most importantly, it's gonna be this ultra intensive with me and it's basically going to be um, a major intensive boot camp to take your photography to an entire new echelon. And we're conveniently doing it starting in January. So if you guys, uh, you know, want to kick off the new year and basically make a strategy and plan to get it to the next level, we're going to be getting you guys involved. And this is something that I'm going to be focusing on tremendously. Um, we also have um, not only photo foundations of photography. Um, but we also have the signature style, which is the next step up. And right now it's, um, we have it on sale for $34.97. Um, this, uh, also incorporates even more, um, uh, of our virtual workshops. So instead of it being four, I believe this will include six. Um, also we have exclusive content with specific decision makers, such as art buyers and photographic agents that come on. Um, and that's for our signature style and industry icon program. Now the industry icon program is the most elite experience. Now, this is for our photographers, especially those of you who um, have taken workshops with me before, okay? Those of you guys who have taken workshops with me before, this was designed specifically for you. Now, other people can enroll in it as well, but I wanted to let you guys know about this. So guys like Evan Siegel, guys like you see, you know, um, Steven, um, many of you photographers that are on right now that I know really well, um, I just want you guys to know that um, there are, um, this is literally designed for you specifically. Okay. Um, and the great thing about this is that not only is it a 30 day ultra intensive with me, one-on-one -on -one strategy sessions with our, um, our coaches throughout the month, also the exclusive content with photographic agents and art buyers and additional um, ultra con uh, exclusive content for the industry icon program. But also this includes a full $9,000 one-on-one with me completely included for free. So I know many of you guys are on right now have actually done one-on-ones with me. I just uh, did a one-on-one -on -one literally a week ago um, with a photographer, actually did two days of a one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and uh, I, um, I I get a lot of requests for this. Basically, it's like a one-on-one -on -one ultra intensive with me um, for, um, and it is $9,000. And it's basically, we take every aspect of your photographic business from your brand to your um, cohesive portfolio to um, all um, aspects of, um, Everything about your marketing strategy, your branding strategy, your um, your every aspect of the follow up and the deal close, as well as going in depth about your proposals and you know essentially when you're bidding on campaigns. So this is something that's extremely intensive and it's very very valuable for photographers like guys like Stephen who really want to um, you know he's already a world class photographer but he wants to take it to an even higher level. Okay, so this is something that's it's designed for, for guys like you. So um, and and um, amazing, wonderful female photographers that I get a um, a, a chance to work with that um, have been really kicking butt this last couple of years in our photographic workshops. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, that is a very very intensive and an amazing experience, and it's something we've never offered anything like this before, especially including a nine thousand dollar one on one with me um, that we're going to be doing. And it, and it doesn't matter where you are, we're, we can do it virtually. Um, uh, and it's something that we get in depth and we rip apart every aspect of your business and we take you to the next level for 2024. So um, if you guys are interested in any of those, obviously you can enroll on our photographic um, uh, website on photographersuniversity.com. Um, and also, uh, I'm also have the offer uh, to enroll in the foundations of photography um, on the right. If you guys uh, check out the, um, the offer, and that's the 30 day accelerator. And that's something I strongly recommend. I've been planning this and developing this for literally the last few years. I mean, it's something that I am finally um, going all out on. And it's something that we're gonna keep growing, keep building, keep developing, and we're gonna take our photographers to the next level.
So um, I, I really um, would love to see you guys on. If you guys have any questions on that also, um, let me know and we can answer them um, in the chat because that's something that uh, I, I love to talk about. Um, so, you know, uh, when, uh, when you guys are um, kind of taking it, you know, after a photographic workshop, I think it's also extremely advantageous because you, just like Steven, we've got all this amazing content. Like Steven's at a place where he's got content now. He's got, I mean, he already had great content, but now he's got like the next level of content so that he can now, okay, take everything he's done so far up to this point and now he can market it. Now he can go in depth and actually um, seal the deal. And it just takes a few of these little tweaks like we're talking about. Just a few of these little details that, you know, we go from, uh, you know, oh, okay, like you're doing some great messaging. Okay, great. But now what, right? What do you do after the messaging? What do you do after that initial email broadcast? Well, there's so much to do. The email broadcast is literally just the beginning. It's something that uh, we need to make sure that, um, you know, we're doing the follow-up. We're doing um, the reach out, we're doing the phone calls, we're doing the DMs, we're doing the LinkedIn messaging, all of that aspect. Um, and by the way, if you guys want any more information specifically um, about uh, the industry icon program, I did want to um, share a little bit, um, a little bit more details about that. So if you guys are curious, um, it's something that um, we have, uh, um, we've got some really cool um, uh, info here about it. So um, this is essentially all the details of the industry icon program with Photographers University. So this is a it includes a $9,000 one-on-one with me. Um, it's got the 30-day intensive. It's got the business um, mastery class with me, the one-on-one -on -one coaching with our consultants, portfolio review and enhancement, detailed review of your photographic book, personalized deep photo edit and selection of your very top best photo 40 images that you need for your final cohesive body of work, not only printed, but also digitally. Um, exclusive access to our private online community um, with all of our members. Um, 30 plus hours of content. Actually, I think it's like 40 plus hours of content with our photographic workshops, um, including posing, art direction, storyboarding, retouching and editing, branding, marketing, booking more clients, advanced marketing. Um, and then we're also gonna have a new exclusive one just for industry icon and signature style attendees, um, where we're gonna be bringing in um, uh, uh, photographic agents and art buyers. Um, we're also gonna have all these amazing downloadable resources. So a huge list of these. Um, and this is something that um, I'm also really, really excited about that um, uh, you know, I think every photographer could massively uh, benefit from. Um, and of course, photographic challenges that we're going to be doing. Um, but this is something that I've been wanting to do for so long. And it's something that um, I've literally been, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm so, I've been so frustrated with photographic education. And, you know, even though I did my bachelor's and my MFA to be a professor of photography, I realized that there's a huge disconnect uh, between photographic education and being a full-time photographic professional and just kicking butt in your photographic career. So that's why I've developed not only photography workshop series, but also that's why I developed Photography University. I think it's really, really valuable and important. Um, all right, so um, I uh, um, also, I wanna get to some of these questions um, and uh, also um, uh, in the Q and A as well. All right, uh, so, um, and you guys are writing a lot of amazing questions. Um, and I know Priscilla has been answering a lot of them, um, but if you have any additional questions that Priscilla hasn't answered or haven't gone over yet, please answer, please ask. And I'd love to bring you on um, and talk details um, about all of that, um, including you, Dave. I've got the uh, Dave Constein. <laughs> it was great to see you on. Um, I love that. Um, and you guys have a lot of great guidance and advice here because this is fantastic. And this is what it's all about, is being super collaborative. All right. The next thing I wanted to get into was um, we've got Stephen on and I wanted to talk about um, writing copy. OK, because this is about incorporating AI and writing copy and coming up with um, essentially a plan, a strategy of what we can do. Right. So um, I'm going to be pulling up some chat GPT and kind of going over a little bit with you about um, essentially uh, how to use it. Right. Um, so, um, OK, uh, let's. Uh, let's play around with this. Let's see what we can come up with. Um, so, and I'm going to do this live and, um, it, you know, and I'm, I'm actually kind of, uh, excited for you guys to do this live. Um, but essentially, um, we're going to, I'm going to pull up, uh, chat GPT. And what we're going to do is, um, you know, we're going to, I'll just ask it, 
this isn't just regular basic chat GPT. Um, a, uh, let's say um, a marketing, photographic marketing strategy. Or, um, and then let's put in um, for a lifestyle advertising photographer in Seattle, Washington that wants to shoot, to photograph, um, who wants to be hired as a national uh, brand. Let's see what that says. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so it just basically came up with all these strategies. That's pretty fabulous. Just literally instantaneously. So um, it just came up. I just literally put in photographic marketing strategy for a lifestyle photographer, um, advertising photographer in Seattle, Washington. And it says, okay, so it's got a, this is a strategy. We have to develop a visually appealing and user-friendly website to showcase his best work um, that's going to ensure and highlights your unique style, versatility, ability to capture the essence of lifestyle advertising. That's fantastic. It sounds like that's what he's been doing. Um, he also has some great stories to go along with it. Um, SEO optimization, which I didn't even mention yet, but that's something that's also extremely important. Thanks, ChatGPT, for bringing it up. Um, implementing SEO strategies to increase your website's visibility. Using keywords like national lifestyle photographer, I would probably adapt that. Maybe that's a little bit too, um, I don't think a lot of people are going to be searching for that, but I would look up uh, keywords um, through SEO optimization keyword searches. Um, so that's probably what I would do there. And there's also chat GPT, for, or there's another um, AI for that specifically. Um, looking up for uh, relative online traffic, blog, uh, blog and content marketing. Um, and, and this can now actually, actually be, blogs can be also very valuable for SEO uh, because a lot of it is um, about backlinks. And the more backlinks you have and the more um, uh, type that you have incorporated in your website, the easier it is to be found on SEO. So that's, that's I'm glad I mentioned that. Um, social media engagement, leverage platforms like Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest to share your portfolio, client testimonials, behind the scenes content, engage with your audience. Fantastic. Well, it just so happens that, you know, we just talked about that. And he also has amazing behind the scenes content, great video that, uh, that he developed with me. Um, and, um, you know, and he's got all this amazing stuff to show. So fantastic. I love it. I, I think that's, that's really fantastic. So um, anyway, so it's got a lot of really great stuff here. Um, now there's paid advertising. I don't know if I do paid advertising for being an advertising photographer, uh, but it's up to you. Um, I think uh, if you're in the portrait business uh, or maybe you're in the um, uh, business such as um, uh, photographing for um, uh, weddings and, and other things where it's a bit more to consumer, that might work a bit better. But um, I think that this, um, you know, this could also be uh, really um, really effective. So um, anyway, so I think uh, um, when it comes to uh, ChatGPT, it looks like it came up with a bunch of great strategies. So I mean, that, that's freaking cool. I love it. What do you think, um, Stephen? Do you think any of these things you can incorporate? Yeah, and actually, uh, number two of uh, 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 collaborate with uh, uh, local brands. Um, I'm working on doing a shoot with Mountain Hardware, um, where they're going to supply me the clothing um, for a shoot. Um, and I've got uh, a local talent agency. Uh, it's called Option, but they've just been purchased by Sports Unlimited, which mm. is headquartered today. Um, and they're going to supply the models. Um, so I've got models supplied um, and, and Mountain Hardware outfitting three people. Uh, with a, a brand new line of clothes. Excellent. Excellent. Cool, man. Cool. So, I mean, it sounds like it's, it's kind of hitting home with everything. And I just typed up a broad message. <laughs> um, uh, also, it looks at, look at this. It also recommends chat GPT. Um, you know, the, the supercomputer it's recommending continuous learning professional development, stay updated on latest trends and techniques in lifestyle advertising, photography, attending workshops, webinars, conferences, enhance your skills. It sounds like you're doing that right now. And all of you guys on right now are literally uh, doing this. So that's fantastic. I, I love to, I'd love to see that. Um, I mean, thanks chat GPT. Cause I, I think that's a really great um, strategy right there. Also certifications and awards, pursuing relevant certifications and submit your work to industry awards. Recognition from your peers and industry authorities can significantly boost your credibility. That's also brilliant. I mean, this, this is all just gold right here, guys. And this is all done 
through chat GPT, this is all the advice that it's giving you, which are, is advice that, I mean, I would be sharing. So, I mean, I love this. This is absolutely excellent. And you know what? That's one of the coolest things about photography workshop series is that you guys, um, you know, Stephen, I, I don't know if you've, how many awards you applied to this year, but um, I know that we've won at this point, I think it's around 220 awards, maybe upwards to 250 photographic awards just in the last couple of years um, that we've won through photography workshop series. Um, and I think that's incredible. Um, so those awards, they really go a long way when you win major awards. Um, it does add credibility and it, you know, allows you to be, um, there's something else you can SEO. There's something else you can, um, you can showcase to clients and also somebody like Stephen Paul, uh, this is a great thing to show to people that are, um, you know, uh, in the industry that he's trying to reach out to. Cause you know, if you need always new content to share, right? So not only does shooting world-class content, um, like Stephen has, um, at the workshops, you know, uh, it, be, you know, not only is this valuable because you need fresh new content to send all the time, um, but also having um, content that's winning awards. So if you can showcase to those important decision makers that, oh man, yeah, I just won uh, in, you know, the top 10 fashion photographer of the year award or the type, you know, or top 10 lifestyle photographer of the year award. If you win those awards, that adds massive credibility to you and your brand. And just like many of you guys we have on right now who are, um, who are actually on this webinar uh, that have attended our workshops, um, we have some amazing um, award-winning uh, photographers. I mean, just in the last year, we won seven out of 10 of the top 10 fashion photographers in America in the One Island Awards, including um, some of these photographers that are on right now. So Jane Ritchie and Evan Siegel, um, you know, Mike Wylett, all these guys that are winning awards. I mean, this is incredible. And this is huge for your brand. Even ChatGPT says so. <laughs> so I, I like how the computer's agreeing with us. But this is really, really valuable. So we just came up with, I just literally typed in a strategy, a marketing plan, and it came up with literally the most amazing, you know, broad, but yet fairly comprehensive plan. And if you want it in more detail, you just ask it a bit more. So I love it. I love it. And I'd encourage, I'd encourage each and every one of you guys to use this. It's totally free, ChatGPT, um, to sign up for the, the regular one. And um, it's something that you should be using all the time. You can also use it to write copy. So if we want to write a message, you know, and we want to incorporate and maybe Stephen wants to use something like um, kind of in line with this whole uh, um, uh, blind photographer concept, which I think is genius. Uh, you know, I would love for him to maybe, you know, go a little bit further with that, you know, use some of the concepts of the blind photographer concept and have different variations of it. And then, um, and then come up, use, have asked chat GPT to come up with messages that are follow-up messages after he sends that message, then what do they say, right? I think that's really valuable. So, um, so guys, I think um, you know the incorporating AI into your um, in your workflow is really valuable. There's going to be a huge amount of AI tools coming forward. There's already literally you know dozens and dozens of really valuable ones out there, um, and uh, I think that um, you know we're going to be going a lot more in depth in this on Saturday um, for our advanced marketing photographic workshop um, and we're going to be getting in depth with a bit more on the different ai tools and strategies and also different marketing tools and we're going to be doing it live and we're going to be going in depth um, just like we did with steven which is really exciting so um uh, if you guys haven't already make sure to also check out the um not only the advanced marketing workshop that you can enroll in with 300 dollars discount or if you want to get involved with photographers university which is going to be incredible um and you can uh, take advantage if you sign up right now um, for um, Photographers University um, for that 30-day accelerator. It starts in January. You can actually take advantage of getting involved and joining us live this Saturday completely for free included, which is um, an awesome $1,300 value. So definitely, definitely recommend it. It's um, it's in the, uh, the offer side um, on this webinar. And I strongly recommend you guys get involved because it will totally knock your socks off this experience. Um, the accelerator is going to be epic. Um, I cannot wait. This is going to be a really, really, really valuable um, uh, next step in what we're doing for our photographers, um, delivering unbelievable world-class content and guidance and coaching that's going to take you guys, each and every one of you, to the next level in your career. Um, and we are going to be going all out on this. Um, so I'm, I'm really, really excited about that. All right, guys, if you have any more um, uh if you guys have any more questions too, I'd love to hear. Um, and uh, I think that um, uh, now is a great time to take any more questions from the audience um, because I love um, 
uh, you know, I love <laughs> hearing all, from all of you guys. Um, all right. Uh, and yeah, and, um, and I know, and, and also many of you guys are on this chat right now. are also connecting with each other. I see Dave Consigns, you know, connecting with Steven, which is all fantastic. I love it. Um, that's, that's fantastic. Good to see all you guys um, communicating on here. This is fantastic. Cool. Cool, cool. Um, all right. Um, and uh, and also, um, uh, you know, if you guys have anything to add, I always love to hear that. Um, I'm, um, uh, we answered the poll um, about the marketing and, and everything like that. Um, I'm going to be launching the next poll here because I just love hearing about all this stuff. Um, and uh, we asked about, you know, if you're a full-time photographer or you, uh, you know, doing photography on the side. Um, I'm also going to be uh, launching a poll right now um, about... Um, if you were to enroll in one of these photographic experiences, which one is most interesting to you? Um, whether you're getting involved in the marketing workshop um, that uh, is only $9.95 right now or involved in Photography University for $19.97. And then we have in-person experiences um, that range between um, $16,500 on up to $27,000 for the French Dream Castle experience uh, for that elite experience that um, some of you guys that are on right now got to experience with me in France, which was incredible. We got to shoot with these supermodels um, that we flew in from Milan, Paris, um, and um, uh, as well as Stockholm and created just unbelievable content. And uh, and also, of course, had an experience all a lifetime at my castle with Michelin star chefs, masseuses on premise, and um, just like mind-blowing scenes that were just out of this world. In fact, here I'll actually show you a little preview of what um, uh, some of our photographers shot and some of you guys that are on right now. Um, got to uh, um, uh, create some unbelievable, uh, unbelievable content at the castle. So, um, you know, content like this, really exceptional. This is actually in the parlor room um, with all 24 karat gold uh, chandeliers and um, wall sconces um, and uh, just unbelievable setting, um, all furniture from the 1700s um, that was all um, uh, completely redone just absolutely breathtaking a location. So if you guys are interested in something like this, let us know. This is all um, uh, on our website, photographyworkshopseries.com. Um, and then also you guys should check out Photographers University. So um, if you guys want any more info on any of this stuff, um, also I encourage you to talk to one of our photograph consultants, um, set up a consult strategy session, go in depth about everything about your career, like we just did, we talked about with Steven. And then um, also you can ask him about the productions if you are interested um, in getting involved in that. So I'll, uh, I'll put the link back for that too on the chat if you guys want to um, set up one of those strategy sessions with anybody on our team. All right, um, cool. And uh, yep, <laughs> uh, yep. So um, cool. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate all the the kudos in there in the chat. It's fantastic. You have such a great community in here. Um, fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. All right, guys. So um, I uh, uh, want to get back to um, kind of uh, the next step with with marketing, which is effectively, you know, we talked about some AI, we talked about some, you know, writing copy, using AI to write copy, and then also um, uh, using it to even come up with a, a plan, a strategy plan, which I think is a really great place to start, you know, especially if you're new to AI and everything like that. Um, there's also really great AI software now to do um, photo, um, I'm sorry, video editing. Um, so using all, especially if many of you guys are not video editors, you're photographers, so you might know retouching, but maybe not video editing. There's a lot of really fantastic AI software out there for video editing that will basically take your original clips and then essentially edit it together in a really nice flow, add music, add topography and all that stuff. So it's not generating necessarily the video, but it's using your video and then, um, mixing it together in a really beautiful way. Um, and I've been dabbling with that and I love it. I think that that's a really, really great use of AI incorporating into video. I do recommend that. I think that's fantastic. And also with graphic design, I think can also be really, really useful. Um, and effectively, a lot of this AI stuff is going to put out a business, a lot of people in graphic design, in um, copywriting, in DMing, in a lot of these kind of more monotonous and, um, and you know, tasks of um, and creative tasks, unfortunately, um, for us creatives. But as photographers, we still have major value because, listen, it, photography has so many clients these days. Everybody needs us. 
from influencers to celebrities um, to fashion brands. And photography, even though we have AI going on right now, photography is still in demand more than it ever has been in history because we're in such an image just fulfilled uh, world right now. And there's so much content used for social media. And in fact, for me, even though I film uh, commercials, TV commercials, um, a lot of my clients are hiring me to shoot content for social media. So essentially, they're, they're, they're $100,000, $200,000 commercials, but for social media, which is kind of insane that they would be paying that kind of budget for a social media commercial. But it is out there. The opportunity is there. And the beautiful thing about being a photographer that also shoots video is you can land both sides of the campaign. You can do the print campaign and you can land the video side of it and the budgets can go up because if you incorporate video, the budgets become higher and higher and higher. So if you guys um, uh, can do that and can do both, it's really, really valuable. So I know many of you guys on here are, oh, I don't know about video, that's okay. We actually go in depth about it at the photography workshop series and we get in depth about um, essentially how to master video because at every single one of our photographic workshops, we do extensive filming, extensive video production and unbelievable content that's created um, with world-class top supermodels, unbelievable um, production, and um, also exquisite styling, because that's where a lot of it comes from. It's just world-class styling. Um, you know, a lot of um, people in the video industry that are trying to build reels, that one of the big challenges they've run into is like, unless you have a massive budget, it's really hard to build a reel um, that's your own director's reel with, you know, supermodels and stuff, because they're very expensive. It's very, very expensive to put all of that on. And, you know, the kind of content that we can put on that is um, uh, that we can do at our workshops, like, for instance, you know, the Miami Beach workshop that we just talked about with um, with Stephen, uh, incredible stuff, you know, really incredible stuff, you know, or content, you know, like this, this is also done in Miami Beach, you know, unbelievable content with supermodels, beautiful video and stuff that should be streaming live on your uh, homepage of your website. Because even if you're a photographer, you need the video and you need that feeling, that emotion, that connection so that the viewer, even if they're hiring you to shoot a photographic campaign, they get excited about this. And also what I wanted to mention, as I talked a little bit about before, about what kind of value we can add. We talked about, you know, um, you know, oh, I have a castle in France, so I can add value by bringing an amazing location to the table, right? Which is cool. Um, but it could also be something like, hey, um, I also, my camera is an R5, it shoots video. Um, I can bring a gimbal and I can do a video version of this. In addition to the photography, I can add that value um, when you hire me. You know, that's, that's massive value, right? So I think that um, uh, if you can add more value to your client, it really, really makes a difference with um, making them wanna book you, making, them, making you the only option you know, I mean, if you're not only going to photograph it, but you're going to film content like I just showed you, which, by the way, was shot at the workshops, like they're going to want to hire you. They're going it, to it's like a no brainer that they're going to want to work with you over somebody else. So I want you guys to think about what kind of value you can add and how you can market it. And if and also, you know, you can ask us, you can ask our team, you can ask Ch chat GPT. <laughs> um, but I definitely recommend um, setting up one of these strategy sessions with one of our photographic consultants with a live um, photographic consultant that's not AI that can actually coach you and guide you personally and give you some strategies on how you can take it to the next level with that. And I think that's really, really valuable. All right. So um, anyway, guys, um, I'm, I'm really, really excited. I hope you guys um, have uh, have set up um, uh, your one on one strategies. I really hope so, because I think that's really, really valuable. and It's totally free. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, I think that um, it's going to be uh, really valuable. Um, so uh, um, we also I'm going to answer a few questions here, a few more questions that are in um, in the chat, in the Q&A. Um, and uh, I'm also going to uh, be um, posting on more polls. So it looks like uh, of the um, the workshops you guys are interested in, it looks like you guys are all interested pretty much in the marketing workshop, Photographers University, and then the upcoming Newport Beach Lifestyle Workshop and Elite Masterclass on Fashion coming up in LA, um, which is fantastic. Those are both some of the most spectacular workshops of the year. Um, really, really excited. I hope you guys get involved in those because they are so much fun. I've been doing this for 15 years. I've had a chance to work with thousands of photographers developing the most mind-blowing photographic and video content and creating the most elite photographic experiences worldwide, bar none. 
we are the the Rolls Royce of photographic workshops, and we do create the best. And, and that's why we we are winning in the top ten fashion photographers in America, winning seven out of ten of the top ten fashion photographers in America. That you have the opportunity to work with me to direct, art direct, and produce these amazing productions, and then you can come on set and photograph and look like a total hero and create the greatest images you've ever shot in your lifetime, guaranteed. It's really, really important. So, um, and it's something that I get really, really, really excited about, obviously. So um, th this is uh, absolutely um, uh, fantastic. Uh, okay, so um, I, uh, I'm gonna offer another poll that I also wanna hear from you guys. Um, so uh, we, uh, we asked a lot of great questions about who you are as a photographer. Um, and uh, I, um, okay, so this is gonna be really important and I want all of you guys to answer this. How much per year do you wanna make as a photographer? Like how much money do you want to make as a photographer? You know, do you want to make 75,000, 100,000, 200,000? Um, do you want to make uh, 300,000, 500,000? You want to make a million, million plus? How much do you want to make as a photographer? You know, now, not just what you are making, but how much do you want to make? What would be the, the ideal goal for you in this coming year for 2024? Um, how much money do you want to make? Uh, you know, a realistic goal of what you want to make and how, and that you feel that you have the value to do it. Okay. So I want you guys um, to answer it honestly, and I want all of you guys to answer. This is important because it's going to get into my next topic here, um, and I want you guys to all answer. So while you guys are answering that, um, I do want to get to some of these Q&As. Um, okay, so uh, uh, Dave Constein asks, um, uh, what do you think of using AI to create blogs for SEO? Um, Dave, I think that's literally the best use of AI. I think that's genius. Um, I think that... Um, uh, the, the reason that's important, Dave, is that not only um, is AI uh, can write blogs really well and neatly and perfectly and, and, and beautifully, as long as you guide it correctly with the right content uh, or the right messaging, the right requests. But also, I think what's really important, Dave, is that you can ask a the AI, you can ask ChatGPT to develop content that is specific to SEO. And because there's certain words or certain keywords you can have, you can look up using AI to um, find out what the most valuable keywords are, are, and then you should incorporate those keywords, the most you know sought after keywords for uh, SEO for your photography, and then incorporate that into the copy of your um, your blog. Your essentially you know your your copy of what you're going to write on these blogs and on your website. So I think that's brilliant, and I definitely would use it specifically for that. I think it's probably one of the best uses. Um, and that, that specifically chat GPT. So I think that's, that's brilliant. So thank you so much. Um, all right. These are excellent questions. Um, and, uh, and okay. So while you guys are, um, uh, you guys are answering these, um, okay. And okay. Great question. So a lot of you guys are also writing in the chat. It looks like a lot of people, um, are saying in the 200,000 range, Rob says 250, Mike says 225, Stephen Paul 250. Um, okay, uh, and, 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 and I want you guys to think about this because this is also what you wanna make, meaning your net earnings, okay? So how much do you wanna make as a photographer? So if you're gonna make say 250,000 as a photographer, um, you probably need to bill around 400,000. OK, because you've got to bill, you know, that, that would be 400,000 in revenue um, and then maybe 250,000 in profit after all of the costs, all the expenses, everything um, for production costs, for um, office, marketing, all that stuff. Right. So um, so say if it's, you know, your goal, Rob, is 250, which is, I think, a very, very, very easily attainable goal um, attainable. I would say 400,000 would be a, a good goal for for um, uh, gross revenue. That will be my suggestion. Okay, so this is great. So it looks like, um, uh, and I'll end the poll now. Uh, it looks like uh, half of you said 200,000 plus, the other half said a million dollar plus. Okay, great, fantastic. Okay, this is, this is great. So um, so if it's gonna be, so let's just take those, those numbers. So if it's gonna be 200,000 plus, um, then I would say uh, that means that your gross revenue should be around 400,000. If you're going to be a million dollars, it should be your gross revenue should be, you know, around around two million dollars. OK, so just start thinking about that. That should be your strategy. So, you know, half of you should be going for that four hundred thousand gross revenue. There's the other half going for that two million. Um, and, and if you guys are serious about this, then let's you know, let's talk about this and put your money where your mouth is, because um, I think that uh, what most people don't realize is what it takes to get there. OK, um, so. Brings me to the next poll. 
the average advertising and marketing budget for most businesses is essentially 10% of the business's overall revenue. Okay. It depends on the business, but oftentimes it's around 10%, um, give or take. And um, are you willing to treat your photography like a business and allocate enough investment in your photography business to make it, make it successful? Okay. This is an important question here. And I want you guys to be honest about this. Do you actually want this to be a business? Do you actually care about making money? And do you want to be seen? Do you want people to know who you are? Do you want the attention or do you not care? Okay. So this is really, really important. Okay. Now be honest because it, does take investment. It's important, right? It's, it's an important investment. Um, so, uh, you know, I, and I, I'll ask, um, all of you guys to answer this. Okay. So of course <laughs> you guys are all saying, um, yes, they all, you all want to allocate. You're willing to allocate 10%. Okay. So remember 10% of your target at revenue, this is any business. And I want you guys to think about this. Okay. Because I don't care what kind of business you are. If you're, if, you, if it's a doctor's office, you're going to be a, a, an MD you got to pay for, um, you know, the supplies, the, you've got to pay for, um, the office, the employees, you know, if you're opening up a restaurant, it's hundreds of thousands of dollars and leases and equipment and, um, product and food and all that stuff. And it's expensive and it plus the marketing. Um, if you're opening up a, um, a warehouse, you know, there's massive overhead. If you're opening an airline, there's a lot of money that goes involved with opening a business, no matter what you are, even if it's you're an electrician or a plumber, there's a lot of investment. And I'm sure you guys would agree. For some reason though, most photographers don't think of themselves the same way. I don't know why it doesn't, there's no, it's completely unhinged. It doesn't, it's completely irrational to think that you are different in any way, shape or form than any other brick and mortar business or any other service business. Cause you're not, you are exactly the same, exactly the same. In fact, I would say that you should spend even more than most of those businesses because you're in the business of creative content, which is generally used for marketing, right? So if that's the case, um, we need to talk about budget. Okay. This is absolutely critical because if you, every single one of you guys said either, you know, 200,000 plus as far as your net profit or million dollars plus, meaning 400,000 in gross revenue, um, or, uh, $2 million in gross revenue. So either one. Okay. So 10% of 400,000 is, $40,000. Okay. So $40,000 should be your bare minimum spend to develop your brand, essentially your marketing, your ad spend, your photographic workshops, you attend the content development, um, you know, all of the, uh, the spends on, um, say listservs, like say you're, you're paying for agency access, like Stephen Paul is, or I am, um, whether you're paying for, um, constant contact and sending email broadcasts out, you know, I mean, I spend, um, I personally spend about, um, I would say 12,000 a year just on, uh, email marketing that I spend. Um, plus, uh, there's, um, uh, plus you're, I'm, I'm buying for agency access, which is another, I don't know, $1,500 a year or so because I have the premium package. Um, there's all these expenses, uh, it, you know, whether you're incorporating a CRM, you know, whether you're using HubSpot or something like that, it, they're, they're very costly, right? So I want you to incorporate that, you know, and then of course, most importantly, more important than anything else is your brand, which is what Steven was talking about earlier is developing that brand, right? Because without the brand, what do you got? You got nothing. You got nothing, you know? So, you know, I think it's really, really important now, you know, and I'll give you an example, like I'll show you case, my brand. So Indigo Productions, you know, this is, uh, you know, one of my brands, right? So Indigo Productions, and I'm essentially um, going to showcase you uh, to you a brand. Um, this is something that obviously costs a lot of money. Now, these are this is a there will be uh, good series times. of productions epic, of you know of our productions that we've done. Where it seems whether that it's no celebrities, whether it, it's um, TV commercials, whether it's uh, social commercials, also my television show Great Escapes that airs on CBS um, as well um, as Sky Vision Worldwide, and um, you know so with the, all this content, this is one of my brands, right? So. Do you, do you think that like this was cheap? No, it wasn't, you know, the productions, whether I'm getting paid for it or whether we're doing this, um, you know, we're doing some of the content at workshops and developing it and creating unbelievable content reels. Um, and then also the cost of editing and then marketing all of this is very expensive. This is a brand, right? In your production. So this is a spend and you guys have to think about what you need to invest in. So, um, I, I, I'd be shocked if you guys 
aren't going to Being take this seriously day. and you're not going to invest what it needs to be. It's all um, about and I, and I, in, in what I'm also going to advise, which I always do, is whatever you do, do not waste your money on equipment. Okay, equipment is a huge, huge waste of money. New photography gear, new lighting gear, biggest waste of money in the world. Highly recommend you do not waste money on that until you land a campaign. When they give you a budget of $200,000 and you've got maybe $30,000 uh, uh, budget towards renting equipment and um, getting all your gear, then use that to buy your gear and then rent it uh, to yourself. That's what I would recommend. Okay, so I would suggest that um, you guys highly, highly uh, recommend that you invest in your reel, your photographic portfolio, your video reel, all of that. Okay, so and the polls say twenty five thousand plus for half of you, the other half of you, um, ten thousand dollars plus. Okay, so you guys are a little bit on the low end. If if your goal is to make you know two hundred thousand plus, meaning four hundred thousand in gross revenue or two million dollars in gross revenue, um, it should be ten percent of that. So you guys are a little bit under. Um, you know, putting less in there than you really should. And because of that, it's going to be a slower go. It's going to take longer. It's going to be more expensive in the long run for you. And you're not going to win as fast enough. And you know what? We only have so many good years that we can be healthy and we can do this. Um, so I want to make sure that, um, that you guys uh, are uh, ready to go and being able to achieve the goals that you want. Because to achieve those goals, you do have to invest. It's absolutely vital. You know, me, I, I generally, um, you know, I'm going to allocate at least 80,000 to 100,000 a year on stuff like this, you know, whether it's, uh, and, and to me, that's bare minimum, bare minimum, but I have, you know, big stuff that I'm doing. Um, and I, you know, I, I realize I understand this. And I also realize what's important and what my spend is. Um, but the more that you spend, the more you're going to make, uh, but you got to remember your business is a business just like anybody else. So that's very, very important. But um, I definitely recommend you guys invest this. In, and obviously, I think you guys shouldn't get involved with us and our elite photographic workshops that we do all over the world. We do them in Los Angeles or elite masterclass on high fashion. We have an elite masterclass on lifestyle advertising photography, um, which is incredible. Um, we have... Um, uh, our Newport Beach lifestyle workshop that we just talked about with, um, uh, you know, with, that uh, Steven's coming to, which is which is absolutely um, fantastic. Um, and many of you guys that are on right now that are coming to, which I'm super excited. Um, that's a really epic workshop. I think there might be one spot left in that one. Um, so if you guys wanted to get involved, uh, that's the next in-person workshop experience. And that is happening in um, uh, February in Newport Beach, which is which is going to be absolutely fabulous. Um, this was something that was shot at um, in Newport um, this last year. So um, just to give you kind of an idea. Um, and um, and then if you uh, are interested um, a bit more in fashion as opposed to lifestyle commercial advertising, this one's a little bit more kind of both. It's a like fashion lifestyle, a little of that boho stuff. Um, but if you are interested in more of the high fashion stuff, we have our March workshop, which is in high fashion and it's our elite masterclass in high fashion. Um, and that is um, uh, going to be a really, really um, uh, incredible experience. So um, I definitely recommend uh, if you are interested in fashion and you want to shoot for Versace or uh, you want to shoot for Vogue or you want to shoot for Burberry, um, definitely get involved with the Elite Masterclass. And this is the first time we've ever done it specifically just on fashion photography. So um, I'm really excited about that. This is an absolute first. We've always done it as a mixed production in the past, meaning half lifestyle, half fashion. This time, all five days are on high fashion. The reason we do five days is because the whole idea is to have a 40 image cohesive body of work. And that's what every photographic um, uh, um, a photographic agent has told me that you have to have that 40 image cohesive body of work to get booked. And um, so if you want that 40 image cohesive body of work, you've got to develop five days of intensive photographing and you know each day you should get anywhere from eight to ten scenes per day so by the end of those five days you should have a 40 image cohesive body of work and as each day progresses the production gets more and more over the top more and more ridiculous more and more incredible okay so um Anyway, so that's really uh, going to be important. And I want to make sure you guys um, 
uh, realize that uh, the um, the productions that we have are so next level, and that's why they're winning awards. In fact, this the, from this scene right here um, won number one fashion photographer in the world award a few years back um, by one of our photographers, Adam Friedman. Um, his version of this won number one fashion photographer in the world and the, and the One Island Awards, which is really really incredible. And he beat out some of the most famous photographers um, uh, like um, Stan Muselik, Caesar Lima, like these big time photographers. So that was really really exciting now by the way i'm also launching another poll how likely will you guys be to um one to ten if you're you are interested in attending any of these workshops whether it's uh the marketing workshop uh the photograph photographers university or whether you want to get involved in these five-day experiences go all out and do an experience of a lifetime uh with the photography workshop series um and create content just like steven did or like adam friedman did and won all these awards um let me know uh now because now is a um we're, we're um asking that in the poll um you know so to give you an idea of what some of the high fashion stuff looks like um we have some uh, amazing productions we just did new york we do um we've got la coming up um we just did the french dream castle uh and um it's really really exceptional this is actually um um some new york fashion and um, i think our last webinar we did we actually did it specifically on the most recent new york workshop where we shot with these unbelievable supermodels um, like this production was shot at a castle designed by identical to King Henry VIII's palace from the 1500s. And we had supermodels that have been the Versace campaign and it was totally over the top. Um, so whatever, uh, you know, whichever experience you want to do, it'll give you an opportunity to create content that is absolutely otherworldly. That's going to take you to the next level. And it's going to be something to market because we can market ourselves till we're blue in the face. But if we don't have the content, it doesn't even matter. that is just wowing and dazzling the audience because that's what this is about. You have to impress and you have to stand out. It's so, so important to do that, guys. Absolutely critical and vital. And I want you guys um, to realize that your content properly marketed and then followed up with will make you money and will make you more successful. It will take you to another level. Um, so if you guys haven't um, answered the polls yet, please do. Um, and let me know, 10, if you are interested in actually enrolling or ready to go, um, or um, uh, you know, zero if you're completely no interest whatsoever. But um, uh, I know that many of you guys would benefit massively from all of these amazing experiences. All right. Um, and then of course, you know, my favorite of all is the French Dream Castle because that's my new castle. <laughs> this year, that's gonna be happening in July. Um, and it's going to be um, it, at uh, my 49 room 13th century palace um, in um, in France. And that's happening um, in uh, uh, mid July, July 14th through 19th this year. I also look forward to seeing maybe some familiar faces that came this year. Um, and then some of the new photographers that uh, really wanted to come that didn't. Um, but uh, it's going to be another experience of a lifetime. And we're going to be creating just absolutely insane content that we can market. And then we can get out there and use all these strategies to start booking those opportunities of a lifetime. All right, guys. So thank you so much. I really appreciate everybody joining on. I can't wait to see you guys. If you are interested in coming this Saturday, let me know. I would love to have you jump on and join us live for a five to six hour intensive with me personally. And we can go in depth about your marketing and take your photography to the next echelon of your potential and get very, very in depth with AI and a bunch of AI tools and start using them to start incorporating all of your, um, essentially achieving those goals that you wanted to achieve, making that 400,000 to $2 million, um, gross revenue that you guys all wanted. So, um, all right, guys, thank you so much. And, um, I look forward to seeing all of you guys, um, in person and online and, um, make sure to get involved, not only in our in-person workshops, but also with photographers university with the photography accelerator. I'll talk to you guys soon.